Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This time I'm doing a review of Sugaha from Sword Online. This is the swimsuit uh, version made by Q6, which I don't think I've ever bought a figure from that line. Um, usually because I like to stick to prize figures and not these more high-end statues, um, as they are very expensive. Prize figures are much easier to collect. Um, but I decided to pick this figure up because I saw her for pretty... Uh, not not cheap, but less than what she usually goes for. Um, and I do collect leafers slash sugu um, figures for some reason. It's a weird habit of mine. Um, so yeah, anyway, on with the box first. Just bring it away. This box will definitely not fit into frame, so I'm going to have to do it sideways. And that only just fits into frame. But yeah, there's a front, nice window at the front there, so you can actually see the figure. So cool. And the image of her. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, words. There's a side of the box. Um, there is a variant in white, but I decided to pick up the blue one because that's the show accurate one, and I think the white kind of looks gross. Um, yeah, I don't know, just me. I think, yeah, white's a bit weird. There's a the back, bunch of legal guff. There's the other side, a uh, bunch of images of the figure. Cool. Uh, nothing much at the bottom and the top has another window. So I'm with the figure now. So here we have the figure out of the box and overall paint sculpture. This one is very, very nicely done. Um, probably one of the my, uh, nicest paint jobs I have on a figure in my entire collection. Um, and also this figure is huge. It stands at 9.6 inches tall, uh, which I think is about 20-ish centimeters. Um, and yeah, might be one of the largest figures I have in my collection as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, going to the face first. Uh, I think the face is pretty wood. Pretty wood. <laughs> pretty good is uh, what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I just woke up. Um, so my words are shit. Um, yeah, I don't think it's perfect. Uh, the Sword Online characters always have that weird mouth that's not like fully drawn in. There's always like a bit missing in the middle. I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about, but yeah, uh, this mouth is all connected. But it looks fine, it still looks like her, so no complaints there. Plus it would have been a bit weird if they did the accurate mouth, I I always thought that was a weird choice of their part. It's not fully drawn the mouth, but yeah. And there's the eyes, which is slightly green, which I don't think is actually accurate to the show. Pretty sure uh, regular Suguha has just blackish grey eyes, um, but they always seem to make their figures with either green or blue eyes. But maybe it's just me, maybe I need to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't have green eyes. But uh, going to the hair now, which um, I've had people say in the past her hair is very weird, but I actually like it. It's cool. Uh, it's a bit sparkly as well, I'm not too sure if it's going to pick up on camera. Ah, uh, there we go. Kind of does. Yeah, it's a bit sparkly, not too glittery. Um, but yeah, does sparkle a little bit. And got some nice paint shading in the hair. There's the back of the hair, if I focus the camera. There you go, you can see it now. So yeah, it's nicely sculpted. And you can see some blushes in the skin tone, which does look pretty nice. Down to the body now. Pretty nicely sculpted. Um, that swimsuit is really nicely shaded. Um, yeah, all the darker parts aren't just the lighting. It's all shaded. So that's really cool. That might be one of the nicest paint jobs I've seen in a figure in person. So that's awesome. There's a chest a bit bulgy at the top there. Not to be a pervert, but I am reviewing the figure. And yeah, looks good. There's the back. Again, a lot of different like shading in the skin tone. Or different skin tone tone. <laughs> That's not English. But let's just uh, pretend I didn't say that. Down to the bottom. She has a butt crack because believe it or not, girls do take shits. I just learned that the other day. And yeah, the arms are also painted quite nicely. And then down to the foot. 
the feet. There's two there. Um, there's also paint detailing in the uh, toes. It's a little bit more pinkish. And then you do have just a basic black base, which kind of wish they gave us like a more detailed base instead of a basic black one. But just a minor nitpick, not a huge deal. So yeah, overall, paint sculpt of this figure is really nicely done. Again, one of my best painted figures in my collection, so that's pretty cool. Now for a couple size comparisons. Uh, here she is compared to a prize figure of her. And yet she does stand a lot taller. And then here's a Marvel Legends um, Doctor Strange, which is a 6 inch figure, I believe. So yeah, she towers over him. Um, so yeah, overall, I really do like this figure. I got mine for about 9,800 yen, I believe, if I remember correctly, which is roughly about uh, $100. So yeah, uh, it's a lot cheaper than what you have to pay online for, which I've seen her go roughly around $150, $170. So she is pretty pricey, um, but I do recommend checking out all different stores before you buy one, um, because you can possibly find one for fairly cheap. So yeah, um, overall, I really do like this figure and I do recommend picking her up. So anyway, that does it with this video now. I hope you somehow enjoyed this weird review and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye.